We good. We good. Check your phone, bro. Just to make sure. Okay. Make sure we live, brother. Doing a, we're doing a mic check, trying to make sure everything's nice and clear. You know, yeah, just check it right quick to make sure, bro. Shalom, shalom, brothers. Let us let us know if y'all can hear us out there in YouTube land. It's not up there. Not going to GMS twenty four. Yeah, ain't up there. Hey, hey, let us know. Your brothers can hear us real good. Yeah, kind. Of, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. brothers can hear us good. All right, Thawada, Thawada. All right, um, another lesson through the spirit. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Gonna turn on, bro. Hey, through the spirit of your how about Shimei Shai, that's what we want to do. First and foremost, give all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the one hundred percent truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims, man. Just listening, is pushing to the best of your ability, pleasing your how about Shimei Shai, regardless of people here for a bear. We just want to do a little quick lesson. Got the brother Nakam with me. I'm the brother Hawaii. We just want to do a quick lesson through the spirit of your how about Shimei Shai on I'm seeking him, man. You see the title, man. Seek him now. Don't don't play around, man. Don't tarry. Seek the God of the Bible. All hell breaking loose throughout the four corners of the earth. Why play around with your life, man? Give me Amos 5 right quick, bro. Okay. Amos 5, 4, and then bring what you got, man. Because okay. the majority of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, they're going to die a horrible, gruesome death, man, over here in America and throughout the four corners of the earth, but mainly here in America, man, for, for taking all day, man, for taking their precious time, seeking the God of the Bible. When the scriptures tell us we don't know the hour or the date, man, he going to come like a thief in the night. Go ahead. Okay. This is Amos chapter 5, verse 4. Right. For thus says... Yahweh Bashim al Shai, right, unto the house of Israel, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. See, these are the words of the Lord, man. We're just reading them, man. It says, Thus saith the Lord, thus saith Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Go ahead. It reads on, Seek ye me, and ye shall live. See, the ones of our people, it's straight to the point, man. You know, no gray areas, black and white. Seek the Lord and live. Uh, reject the Lord, you no know saying, die, man. Right. Just like going right back to Hosea 4 and 6. Mm -hmm. You reject the word, I'm going to reject you. One more time, bro. Okay. This is Amos chapter 5, verse 4. And Shalom to all the sincere Akims tuning in, man. Go ahead. This is Amos chapter 5, verse 4. Right. For thus says Yahabah Shemal Shai. That's who they eagerly call God and Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Unto the house of Israel. Right. Seek ye me, and ye shall live. Look, plain, man. The God of the Bible says, seek me early and you're going to find me, man. How do you seek the Lord? By going out there where his men at and learning about him, man. Getting into this blessed word, man. That's how you seek the Lord. You find out what pleases the Lord. You find out what makes the Lord angry. You know? Mm -hmm. um, what does it say? Um, examine yourself, man. Kind. You got to seek the Lord. And when you look up that word seek, it means to search for. Kind. It means to look for, man. Go ahead. That's it on that. Mm -hmm. Let's bring out the next one, bro. We're yeah. just going to flow in the spirit. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. Right. Seek ye, Yahweh Shema Shai, while he may be found. See, all hell getting ready to break loose, right? And the men of the Lord, and you can hold that Amos. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What is it? 8, eight and 11. 11. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The God of Bible, what did he say again, bro? One more time. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. Right. Seek ye, Yahweh Shema Shai, while he may be found. Right. But who are people seeking? They're seeking Buddha. They're seeking Allah. Santa you know, Maria. Santa Maria, the Hindu god of Shiva, Holly you know, Selassie. Holly Selassie, you know, and everything up under the sun, except for the God of the Bible. It says, seek the God of the Bible while he may be found, while the men of the Lord, starting off with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and the men on down. And then you got a couple of other camps affiliated with Great Millstone teaching the same doctrine, you know, seek those men while they may be found, man. Go ahead. Okay. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. Right. Seek ye how by Shema was shy, while he may be found. Right. Call ye upon him while he is near. Right. Call upon the God of the Bible while he is near. How can you call on the name of the Lord, man? The men out there teaching you it, man. Give me Romans right quick, bro. Mm -hmm. 10. Yep. I think it's 14. So the 14. It says, calling in the name of the Lord is not Ahiah Shia. It's not Yahshua. It's not Yah. It's not Yahweh. You know, it's not God or Jesus, man. Yeah, you can't make them stay on. That's crazy. Yeah, you might have to turn that on. 
having a little bit of technical difficulties. Yeah, turn it on like quick, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. This is Romans chapter 10, verse 4, 14 and 15. Let me see. Um 13. Okay. This is Romans chapter 10, verse 13. Right. For whosoever shall call upon the name of Yahweh Bashimashai shall be saved. Now, how are you going to learn to call on the name of the Lord? You got to have preachers out there teaching the name. And we're out there teaching the name of the Yahweh Bashimashai. That's why he said, call upon me while he is near, man. We teach you the name to call on while we still out there on the highways and byways before the God of the Bible really come and eradicate this place called America soon come, man. Now people just thotting around, man, but it's all good. Don't read on, bro. This is Romans chapter 10, verse 14. Right. How then shall they call upon him who not believe? Right. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Go ahead. And how shall they hear Without a preacher. That's why the God of the Bible says, seek me while I may be found. While the men are out there on the highways and byways preaching, thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible. That's how you're going to hear about the God of the Bible. So the, so the men got to be out there on the highways and byways. It's got to be a street ministry, man. You know, that's how we heard about the names of Yahweh, Bashim, Shai. The apostles doing the street ministry and putting it on the web, man. That's how we got the name of the Lord, by men being out there on the highways and byways doing the street ministry, man. And now we're calling on that name that we can be delivered, Lord willing, man. Right. Go ahead. This is Romans chapter 10, verse 15. Right. And how shall they preach except they be sent? Did you read the part about uh, faith coming by hearing? You already read that part? Mm. Faith coming by hearing? Can't really see. I don't think it came but, out yet. But, but read that, though. Read that last verse that you was reading. This is Romans chapter 10, verse 15. And how should they preach? Oh, yeah, the church most definitely, those church, those holler houses, most definitely ain't teaching our people about Yahweh, about Shemel Rashad. They still talking about God and Christ blessing and all that. And then you got these false prophets teaching God and Christ bless, man. Those names, you call them those names, you think you're going to get saved, you're going to get destroyed, man. Okay. Those names ain't saved us yet, man. Go ahead. This is Romans chapter 10, verse 15. Right. And how shall they preach except they be sent? Right. As it so like as it is written, right. how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel. Hey, look, it's a beautiful thing for us to be out there on the highways and byways preaching this blessed word, this gospel, the good news, man. Go ahead. Of peace. Right. And bringing glad thing, glad tidings of good things. Now go back. You want the faith part? Oh, it's next. Yeah, on verse 17. Go ahead. Verse 16. Right. But they have not all obeyed. The gospel. Right. The, the God of the Bible is telling our people to seek him that you may live. But the majority of our people haven't obeyed the gospel, man. You know? Yep. They disobeyed the gospel. Matter of fact, hold that right there. Get on um, Hebrews. Okay. Hebrews 4 and 2, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get that right quick, bro. It's going to say they have not all obeyed the gospel. And that's the two-thirds, man, that's going to die a horrible death soon come. The ones of our people that don't obey this gospel, you're going to die soon come, man. Ain't no if and but some maybes about it. You're going to die a horrible death, man. And that's according to the Bible. That's right. That's it, bro. The one I wanted? Yep. Yep. This is Hebrews chapter 4, verse 2. Right. For unto us was the gospel preached. Right. As well as unto them. So all, all the Israelites heard the gospel, man. The gospel was preached to the elect. Lord willing, we're part of the hopeful elect as well as to the two thirds. Go ahead. But the words preached did not profit them. That's why they disobeyed the word. Because the words didn't profit them. Why, bro? Not being mixed with faith. See, when two-thirds of our people heard the words of Yahweh, Bashim Shai, it wasn't mixed with faith, man. You know? They didn't have, they didn't believe in something that they didn't see. We, we had an example of that um last weekend. Mm -hmm. Show me the land. Show me the land. You had, um, what was that dude that came up, yo? That dude from the unconscious movement. You know what I'm saying? Well, whatever his name was, his name is irrelevant, but he came up not knowing nothing. The other dude, he wanted to see proof. Everybody wanted to see proof, man. Because they didn't have faith, man. Mm -hmm. That's that's why they couldn't receive the gospel. Because it, it wasn't mixed with faith, man. And then they heard it. Mm -hmm. That's it on that, bro? Just a little bit more. Go ahead. And them that heard it. Now go back. Mm -hmm. This is Romans chapter 10, verse 16. Right. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. Go ahead. For Elijah said, Yehabashim Shah, who have believed our report. The elect. Go ahead. Verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing. Right. Faith cometh by hearing, right? We had to hear the word to believe in it, right? 
That's why the God of the Bible said, seek me and ye shall find me, man. We're going to go back to that Isaiah. Go okay. ahead. And hearing by the word of the most high. Right. Verse 18. But I say, have they not heard? Right. Yes. Tr verily. Their sound went into all the earth. Now, how's it doing that? By way of the internet, by way of the live streams, man. The YouTube, the unicorn, man. That's how this word went throughout the four corners of the earth. Man, you got people in Indonesia knowing about the truth now. Sorry. You know, you got people over there in Ukraine knowing about this truth now, man. This word is out there, man. Alaska, man. Hawaii. It's everywhere now, man. China. You know, people coming up. Turkey. This word is out there, man. But the scriptures say the gospel is going to be preached throughout the four corners of the earth. And then the end going to come. We're at the end now. We're at the end of the end, man. That's why you most definitely need to seek the Lord now, man. That's right. That's it on that, bro. Okay. A little bit more to that yep. verse. Go ahead. And their words unto the ends of the world. Right. So, so this live stream right here is going throughout the four corners of the earth. You can watch this live stream anywhere around the earth right about now. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to Isaiah. Yep. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. Right. Seek ye Yahweh by Shemawashai, while he may be found. Go ahead. Call ye upon him while he is near. Right, and the only way you can call him the name of Yahweh by Shemawashai, it had to be someone to teach you that name. That's you right. didn't get that name on your own. You had to be taught that name, man. How, how should they hear, you know what I'm saying, without a preacher, right? Mm -hmm. How should they believe in something that they ain't heard, right? Mm -hmm. You had to hear it first, man. Go ahead. Verse 7. You want to chime in, you know what I'm saying, you know. Okay. What you got to do, you know what I'm saying, let's get back to the scripture. Go okay. ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 7. Right. Let the wicked forsake his way. Stop game banging. Stop selling drugs. You Israelites now. Stop game banging, selling drugs, committing adultery. You know a woman got a man, stay the hell away from her. That's right. The women out there, you got a man, stay the hell away from these other men. You know? Stop being witches and warlocks. Stop smoking drugs mm -hmm. along with selling drugs. Start worshiping these idols, celebrating the customs of the heathens, eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobsters. You name it, man. Getting tattoos. Yeah, tattoos. Don't get no tattoos. That's right. You know? Shape ups and all that. Bald heads. Stay away from that. Let the wicked forsake his wicked way. Stop breaking down the scriptures the wrong way, you know? Mm-hmm. All that, man. Stop going contrary to these scriptures. Right. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 7. Right. Let the wicked forsake his way. Go ahead. And the unrighteous man. His thought. Right. And let him return unto your high was shy. Right. And he, he will have mercy upon him. Hey, look, man, and the opposite of mercy, you know what I'm saying, is, is destruction, really. You know, pain. Some of what does the scripture say? They should know death by pain. Okay. The God of the Bible ain't gonna show two thirds of our people mercy, man. They rejected the word, man. So he's gonna reject you. So go ahead. Let's sit on that verse. Just a little bit more. Go ahead. And to our power. He will abundantly pardon. Right. You turn back to the God of the Bible sorrowfully. You got to repent. Meaning turn back sorrowfully for the thing that you did. And he have mercy on you, man. That's, right. That's the only power that can show you mercy. You will not get mercy from anybody else except for the God of the Bible, man. And I got one. God. This is Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 3. Seek ye the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All ye meek of the earth. And that's talking to the elect. The, the elect are the only ones that's humble right about now because two-thirds are prideful. They got that pride demon on them so, and they think they know everything already so they most definitely not going to humble down. They're not going to be meek. When they come on, you see two-thirds come up to the camp thinking they know it all already, man. Mm -hmm. They don't humble down. You got two ears and one mouth. What that mean? That mean you need to listen more, right? Yep. It says, um, all ye meek of the earth which have wrought his judgment, seek righteousness, seek meekness, it may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. And that's what the Lord is coming back with anger, man. He's coming back with wrath. He's coming back with death and destruction. And the majority of our people are going to get caught up in it, man. Okay. It's going to get bad out here, man. You know? Give me that right quick, bro. Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 13. And this really ain't a long lesson. I'm saying me and the brother was able to get up through the spirit of Yahweh. But Shemiah was shy. Want to grab some quick dinner right quick. You know what I'm saying? Through the spirit. We had the My Rancho, you know? Getting it in through the spirit of how by Shemel Shine is a beautiful thing, man. So, so what, what better way to end it off with, with a lesson? You know what I'm saying? All right. Get that right quick, bro. This is Isaiah chapter 13. You want me 39? Um, yeah, yeah, straight to the point. Okay. Matter of fact, start it on, what is it, six? How ye? Mm hmm. Yeah, get that right quick. This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse six. Right. How ye? For the day of your how by Shemel Shine is at hand. And when you how, that means a long cry or pitch sound, man. Like a, a long one, like, ah! You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Longer than that, though. We just throwing it out there, though. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It reads on, 
It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. That's why the Lord says, seek me, seek righteousness, seek meekness, so you won't get caught up in all that, man. Go ahead. Verse 7. Therefore, shall all hands be faint. I love all hands. Look, everybody's tough, right? Mm -hmm. Look up that word faint. It means feeble, weak. You yep. know what I'm saying? Everybody's tough right about now. But when the Lord pop up on the scene, you start bringing these different calamities. Everybody going to faint and be weak, bro. People going to give up the spirit, man. And that day, they're going to be so terrified and scared of the Lord, man. Um, um, Hebrews 10 to 31 it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It reads on. And every man's heart shall melt right people ain't gonna know what to do they're gonna start bugging out because that word heart goes back to the hebrew word law which means your mind these people gonna bug out soon come man man they are people two-thirds because the god of the bible is really bringing that wrath man that's right go ahead bro verse eight and they shall be afraid i look and everybody gonna be afraid in that day man everybody thug everybody hard everybody gangster but the scripture said they're gonna be afraid man you know, see if um I'm in rock and save you in that day. You know, mm -hmm. see if um what, what, what is uh Horace? Mm -hmm. See if Horace can save you in that day. You know, see if um Jesus Christ can save you in that right that day. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? You know what is it, um JB? No JC. Yeah JC. JC yeah. yeah. Right. See if Buddha, Allah, Santa Maria, and everybody we've been naming. You know what I'm saying that you trust in, that you believe in, can save you in that day when this wrath come. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It, this is Isaiah chapter. 13 verse that's 8. That's right, that's right. Scary times are coming, man. They're ahead, man. We matter of fact, we in them. We're living in them. This chick that I work with, you know what I'm saying? She from uh, El Salvador, you know what I'm saying? She told me that they um just found um four 18 wheeler trucks, you know what I'm saying, full of Latins, man. It was like over eight, eight hundred Latins, man, and um four um eighteen wheeler trucks, man, trying to get over here to America, man. And they got stopped and all that. They like to die in them 18 wheeler trucks because it won't no um air flowing through, man. You know. They're trying to escape them places because it gets crucial down there, man. But the scriptures tell you they're bringing their kids to the murderer, man. Mm. You know? So all the Latins trying to get over here from Mexico, El Salvador, you know what I'm saying, um, Guatemala, you know what I'm saying, um, South America, Central America. But they're bringing them here to be slaughtered, man, mm. by the God of the Bible, man. He's going to let Esau run wild on them, man. Because our people are wicked, man. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 8. Right. And they should be afraid. Right. Pains and sorrows. Shall take hold of them. That's right. That's all that's coming. Pain, sorrows, death upon death, death upon death, death upon death, bro. Mm. That's all that's coming, man. Go ahead. It reads on. And they shall be in pain. Right. As a woman that travelleth. Right. You no know saying I got a daughter, you no know saying. My baby mama told me about the excruciating pain she went through having my daughter, man. You no know saying? It felt like she was about to die, man. So that's what these people are gonna be going through, man. And then the scriptures say they're going to seek death and not find it, bro. The Lord going to make them go through it, bro. They got to go through it, man. Right. And the Lord said when they start catching hell, don't cry for them. Don't, um, don't even pray for them. Mm -hmm. Don't do nothing for them, man. They ain't seek the Lord. Some more to that, bro. Just a little bit more. Go ahead. They shall be amazed one at another. Go ahead. Their faces shall be as flames. Because they ain't got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. So they're going to be looking at each other like, yo, what do we do? Ain't nobody gonna have no answer, man. Mm. You should have you should have been out there trying to get the answer from the men of the Lord. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 9. Right. Behold, the day of Yahweh Bashimah Shai cometh. Right. Cruel. Right. Both with wrath. And then the Lord says, seek me, so you ain't gotta get caught up in that. Mm. The Lord just said in Zephaniah, seek me, and then you ain't gotta worry about getting caught up in my wrath. You ain't gotta worry about getting caught in my death and destruction. Then I'm bringing see the God of Bible is bringing all this, man. That's right. The issues of death belong to the Lord, man. Deuteronomy on um, 32 and 39, I kill, I make alive, I wound, I heal. Can't nobody deliver you out of my hands. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 9. Right. Behold, the day of Yahweh Bashima was shot cometh. Right. Cruel. That's right. Both with wrath right. and fierce anger. Look, with wrath and fierce anger, man. The Lord is coming back pissed off, man. You think the Lord is happy at what the way these people um are running through up and down throughout the earth right about now? Hell no, nah, the Lord is pissed, man. Pissed. Man, that you Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. Cause y'all should know better, man. We the chosen people of the Lord, but then two thirds are acting like assholes right now, man. Excuse my French. I mean. Yep. And real quick, the Lord's gonna show that he's coming back cool, both with wrath and fierce anger, but all these different plagues and calamities that he's gonna send upon the face of the earth. So sure, he's doing that now. He visited a place with storms, floods. They said last month it was 700 um hurricanes, man. Mm -hmm. Or tornadoes. It was one of them. It was 700 of them, man. You know, the, the number seven is completion, bro. Right. And it was tearing everything up, man. And some of our people got caught up in it, man. Mm -hmm. You know? 
Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 9. Right. Behold, the day of your house. Oh, yeah. Ezekiel 22 and 20. As they gather silver. Oh, yeah. No, saying, yo, that's a, that's a, <laughs> what did I say it was, bro? Ezekiel 22 and 20. 20. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. Finish reading that, bro. Kind. So I, yeah, you finish reading that and I get this. It was 22 and 20. Mm hmm. Yeah, that, that was a heavy scripture right there, man. The Lord said he's going to leave them there. I get it. Fin finish that, bro. Kind. This yeah, is yeah, Isaiah. Yeah, finish that off. Chapter 13, verse 9. Right. Behold, the day of Yahweh Bashima was shot cometh. Right. Cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. Right. To lay the land desolate. Right. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. That's why it'll behoove you to seek the Lord while you may be found. Because the God of the Bible is coming and lay this land called America desolate, man. Meaning uninhabited, man. By humans, man. The only thing that's going to inhabit this land after the, the smoke clear is desert creatures, man. And that's it, man. Not, ain't gonna be nobody coming from out of a bunker, man, and rebuilding here in America, man. Mm -hmm. You know, nah, the chariots and the missiles are gonna evaporate this place, man. That's it on that. Yep. This is um Ezekiel chapter twenty-two. I mean Ezekiel chapter yeah Ezekiel chapter twenty-two verse twenty. As they as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it to melt it. So will I gather you in my anger and in my fury. Look, look, I thought the God of the Bible was all about love, though. Whatever happened to that, bro? Mm -hmm. Thought the God of the Bible was all about love. That's what grandma taught me. Grandma didn't know nothing, though, man. Mm -hmm. Grandma didn't know nothing, though, right? It says, um, so, so will I gather you in my anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there. And look, and the God of the Bible gonna leave two thirds here, bro, in that lake of fire to melt, right? Mm -hmm. and look, and melt you. Know what I'm saying? He gonna melt them, bro. That's what the God of the Bible is talking about. He gonna melt our people, man. And they deserve every last bit of it, man. That's right. What you got, bro? I said what, 3, 3 6. Um, Read that right there, and then we'll get that last one. we get um Sirach 5 and 7. We'll end it there. Just a quick little lesson through the spirit of you have, but Shemel was shot, man. This ain't the time to be playing, man. That's right. You got more chariot sightings and all that, man. So look, the God of the Bible, you have, but Shemel shot, got everything being set up, man. The chariots are ready. You know what I'm saying? The laser beams are ready. The, look, the nuclear missiles are ready. That's right. You know, you have about Shimei Shai is ready. He gathered the elect, man. Like it says in um, Revelation, the seventh chapter, when, when the elect is sealed, look, the deal, he going to sign that deal. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He holding back the four winds, meaning that destruction, man. Yep. Until the elect are sealed on their forehead, man. Sign a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sign the crime. We hate the, we hate the things that we see, man. Yeah, the day coming, it's going to burn like an oven. Malachi 4 and 1. Go ahead, bro. This is Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. Right. That's hey. why the scripture says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thine own understanding, man. Okay? The Lord tell you to seek him right now before he bring all hell to this earth. Then you do it, man. That's right. Go ahead, bro. This is Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. Right. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Go ahead. And that's right. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures is what's going to keep you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans stable. Right. You see, these the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures is what's going to keep you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans balanced. You see, above water from when Yahabah Shema Shah brings all these different plagues and calamities upon the face of the earth. You see, but the ones of you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans who are not seeking the men of the Lord that Yahabah Shema Shah has set up, starting with Apostle Elder's Great Millstone to the men on down, you see, who are not trying to get the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures, y'all are not going to be stable. You see, y'all are not going to be above water. You see, y'all are not going to know what to do when all these different plagues and calamities that Yahweh Shemashah are going to send upon the face of the earth. Y'all are not going to know what to do because y'all didn't get the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures. So that's why it's important, like the brother was saying, that you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans seek the men of the Lord that Yahweh Shemashah has set up. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6 from the top oh, yeah, of the Yeah, the, the brother said, um, U.S. just sent... A thousand troops, you know what I'm saying, to the Middle East. A thousand more troops, man. But oh yeah, while everybody playing around, the God of the Bible is preparing World War Three. So you keep playing. You keep playing around. The God of the Bible is setting up World War Three as we speak. So you keep playing, man. That's it on that, right? Just a little bit more. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. Right. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Go ahead. And strength of salvation. Right. The fear of Yahweh Bashimashah is his treasure. That's why you better fear the God of the Bible now, man. 
You know, fearing the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. If you don't fear the God of the Bible, you have no knowledge, man. Okay? There's no want to them that fear the God of the Bible, man. They're gonna they're gonna eat in that day. They're gonna be protected in that day. Let's get this last one, bro. Let's wrap it up, man. The point has been made. God. The, the one of our people don't want that's why the scriptures say, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. He that is holy, let him be holy still, man. So the one of our people that don't want to seek the God of the Bible, do what you do, man. But the ones that do want to seek the God of the Bible, then you keep seeking them, man. Because you're going to truly realize how much of a blessing it was to seek the God of the Bible when all hell break loose, man. That's right. Go ahead, bro. This is Sirach, chapter 5, verse 7. Right. Make no tearing right. to turn to Yahweh Bashim I was shot. Cause going right back to Habakkuk chapter two, verse three, though it tarry, wait for it. The vision is yet for an appointed time, meaning these prophecies come in the past. Though it tarry, wait on it, right? It seemed like it's taking the God of the Bible a long time to come, right? Because we in his flesh, man. His flesh is weak. But it's really not though, man. Because everything that the God of the Bible has been um proclaiming, you no know saying, professing, according to the Bible, is coming right to pass, right in front of our face, man. You just have to be given the eyes to see and the ears to hear. You know what I'm saying? Everything is good. Look, man, he's showing us signs, man. The God of the Bible is showing us signs that these words are faithful and true, man. What does it say again, bro? This is Sirach chapter 5, verse 7. Right. Make no tearing to turn to your how about shim I was shot. Right. You look, look, the only thing our people think about right about now is the club, man, and all kind of other nonsense, man. The scripture said, make no tearing, man. Don't take all day. You see men out there on the highways and byways, or you having to come up with a, a video or a live stream, you better pull out that pen and start writing down some scriptures, taking notes, humble yourself down, and acknowledge that these are the words of the God of the Bible, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the ones that created the heavens and the earth, mm -hmm. and turn back and repent, man. You know, tell the God of the Bible that you're sorry for everything that you did, man, and you want to do better, and keep praying that he keep the spirit on you to do better, man. Go ahead. This is Sirach chapter 5, verse 7. Right. Make no tearing to turn to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. And put not off from day to day. Go ahead. For suddenly. Suddenly. It's going to come and catch you off guard like he said he was. He said he's going to come like a thief in the night. He's going to bring the storms. He's going to bring the rains. He's going to bring the death and destruction. You know? He's going to bring the famine. He's going to bring the race right. He's going to bring all that suddenly, man, when you least expect it. Go ahead. For suddenly shall the wrath of Yahweh Bashim El Shah come forth. Look, look, not the law, but the wrath. Go ahead. For suddenly shall the wrath of Yahweh Bashim El Shah come forth. Go ahead. And in that, and in that security, right, thou shalt be destroyed. That's right. And perish in the day of vengeance. And that's exactly what's coming, vengeance. That's why you need to seek the God of the Bible. And that's all that's coming, vengeance, 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 man. That's what's coming. Seek the Lord now, man. You have been warned. Give them warning from me. Get my word. Go out there to the highways and byways. Do these videos and warn my people. That's right. Just like Noah warned the people. There was a horrible death, man. When the God of the Bible flooded the earth, that was, that was a horrible thing, man. You know? Look, the earth, so much water came upon the earth. You know what I'm saying? It, it broke the land mass up, man. That was straight up deadly, man. And it's going to be fire this time, man. So the Lord said, go out there, keep warning them. Keep warning them until I tell you it, it's done. You know what I'm saying? You know, and you got to constantly pray that the Lord keep your, keep his spirit on you to keep warning, man. Don't get tired of warning these people, man. Don't get tired of seeking the God of the Bible, man. Though it tarry, wait on it, man. That's right. Hey, with that, that's it on that, bro? Oh. Hey, with that, Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel was edified, man. That's what we do these lessons for. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone. The ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. You Damn right. The ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims, man. And you Akwafs to be listening, man. You know? Trying to get your acts together through the spirit of your high by Shemia was shy. This place is almost out of here. Seek the God of the Bible now. Shalom. Shalom. Judgment. Judgment. Look, don't end up in the ambulance now. That's right. Don't end up in the ambulance. Shalom. Shalom.